G'day and welcome to Crystal Clear Mathematics where it is easier than you think. Uh, and this is the first video in my subtraction fest uh, in which I will be showing a wide variety of ways in which you can subtract numbers. The first one is commonly termed borrowing and it's the most common one taught today. And what it means is that when we're subtracting large numbers or small ones for that matter, we do not alter the bottom number at all, but we recognise that every column is 10 times bigger than the preceding one. And if we need this number to increase, for example, then we borrow from the next column up. So, in this case, for example, 3 from 7, we can do. 6 is larger than 4, so we can't perform the subtraction and we borrow. So we take one of those, reducing it to 4, and we bring it across. It's worth 10 in this column. I like to write a large one. And 14 take away 6 is 8. You can see the benefit of spreading the columns out when you're instructing or teaching this method. 8 from 4 we can't do, so we borrow. Now, interestingly, there's nothing to borrow from, so we have to go further afield. We borrow from the 8 and we bring it across, and we borrow from the 10, and we bring that across. So we've had to sort of shuffle down. Another way of thinking is you reduce the 80, the 80, to 79, and bring that one bundle of 10 across. 14 minus 8 is 6, 9 minus 9 is 0, 7 minus 5 is 2, 2 from 1 we can't do, so again, we borrow one of those, 11 minus 2 is 9, and 2 minus 1 is 1. There it is, method number 1. This is the most common method taught today, where we simply borrow each thing. If you want to see a longer explanation, I do have uh, two preceding videos, which are about 20 minutes or so each, and you can see all the explanation. But here it is demonstrated, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.